Um, so, the last question is, uh, New Zealand towns and cities are also going to be affected by climate change, particularly, obviously, in coastal areas. What policies does your party have to make these communities safer and more resilient in the face uh, of, of these events? Uh, if we can move on to you now, um, Scott. Cool, thank you. Um, yeah, so obviously there's going to be a lot of adaptation, and not just because of climate change too, but um, we, when we talk about climate change, we need to understand that that includes, if the system disorder is not addressed, um, that includes food shortages, water shortages, um, energy shortages, and a lot of people are going to make a lot of money off the energy scarcity, by the way. A lot of people are going to make a massive amount of money off the collapse of society, and if, that's, if you're not aware of that and how disgusting that is, then please make yourself aware of that. Um, basically, this is why the money system needs to be uninstalled, and it can be now. We've got the technology to actually work together to solve these problems, real in communities, actually sharing our resources, applying our modern technology without this intellectual property metaphysic that persists. So basically, um, we're talking about actually solving the problems. It's the Money Free Party offers the scientific um, a, um, the, the application of the scientific understanding that we've known for decades of what was actually required to solve the problem. So sorry to repeat myself. So, but basically, a big core component of that is, and everyone needs to really understand this too, is that we have to reduce production in order to solve climate change. And that means getting rid of jobs that don't contribute anything. What we have at the moment is a proxy system because it doesn't create anything. If you're not aware of that, please research the cancer stage of capitalism. It destroys more than it produces from a system perspective. So you can't have a system like this if you want to have a future. And that's a modern scientific understanding. And so that's what the Money Free Party is bringing to the table finally, and it's decades overdue. Thank you. Thank you very much, Scott. But we've now reached a point where we have to make a decision as to whether the species is going to survive in anything like its current form of organization and social systems. <laughs>